Hello, it's time to go over part two of what's in the personal collection. Now, in the previous collection video, I went over the binders. And, and as I said, I became more bougie, but the video was too long. Here we are. Oh, hello. Let's go over what's in the case. This is my current collection. The binder was like, that's the old style of collecting. We're into the fancy boy stuff now, okay? What's in the case? I'll just go over everything, okay? Um, this is a Yokohama World Championship brick of cards. These are paradise resorts that come in every language. So, um, this is from Yokohama, okay? 2023. Van Gogh Pikachu. Let me tell you a story about all my Van Gogh Pikachus, okay? When it first came out, I remember I was teaching. I was teaching uh, at college and I had to wake up really early in the morning to, um, to go teach. And one day I was just driving, okay? And at this point, they were already released in the UK and a lot of people had them already, but they never got released in the US. So this was on PokemonCenter.com. One morning, I was just driving, and my phone goes off. And it says, Van Gogh's are released on Pokemon Center. You need to spend $80 or whatever it was. Maybe it was like 40 or 60 or something like that. You need to spend a certain amount of money. I'm like, shit, I'm driving. I'm driving to school. God damn it. I got to teach in half an hour. <laughs> it was about 7, 11 in the morning. I somehow I remember that I, I start teaching at um, 7.30. I was 7.11. I was like, shit, I'm like five minutes from school. Ah, ah, pull over, pull over and order or keep driving and then order. I was like, God, decisions. And I was like, OK, I'm just going to drive because there, there's nowhere to pull over over here. That's going to cause more problems. Just <laughs> drive very fast. Park. It's about. 7 18 a.m for me and then i pull up the website i'm like okay i got 12 minutes to uh i got 12 minutes to order then get my ass into class and start teaching okay so i uh i pull my phone out i go i look and i'm like oh you need to pay you need to spend the x amount of money and then i was like i remember like Ah, what do I feel like buying? What do I feel like buying? And then like 30 seconds later, I'm like, you goddamn idiot. Just order anything you can get your hands on. What are you doing? <laughs> and then um, uh, a lot of people are buying like Obsidian Flames ET uh, booster boxes because that went over the limit. I think it was like 80. And then um, I didn't order that. I bought... I bought ball tins because they i knew they had evolving skies uh with some other stuff so i got ball tins and i ordered like i think you had to order like three or four of them to hit the threshold and it just spammed that buy button i was logging into multiple accounts i was doing multiple different credit cards i had cards all lined up <sighs> anyways i got five i got five of them direct so we'll just say one, two, three, four, five. I got five orders in, then they went out of stock. Okay. Uh, so th those were these. And then this other time I was on eBay and then, then there was, I'll give you the TLDR. This scumbag on eBay, he had about 30 Van Goghs. I went direct with him because he didn't we didn't want to pay the fees and then basically I paid about 140 per Van Gogh raw. They were not sealed. Okay? They were raw. 30 of them. He was like this crippled white guy who was like in a wheelchair and he showed me his website. He's like, "Oh, I'm an injured veteran and whatever." And then I was asking he he had like 40 of them. I was like, "I'm not going to buy 30 of them." Can can you uh, can you take pictures of it and all that stuff? He took the shittiest pictures. Like, like if this is the camera, he would take it from like this far away, and he'd like help. One of his pictures, he was like holding it against his hairy 
his hairy body and it was like bruh this guy is like an old person who doesn't know how to take photos and i was like can you just pick me the nicest ones to get graded and all that stuff they arrived there was flat out they were damaged they were like bent and whatever and i was like can i return them and he's like ha no you thought you thought i i would sell you near minty ones that were gradable and all that blah 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 i was like bro what kind of scumbag is this he he was feigning ignorance i i can go look it up on instagram i like i was pissed what uh paypal didn't want to do anything about it because it's like this guy too he spammed me with 80 photos like he spammed me with 80 photos like every single one he went like this and like this with really bad lighting and i was like pulling teeth to get him to give a good photo now we know why anyways i bought those and i sold them off already i lost money because i sold them as damage and whatever um then for some time i was buying them at about a hut i bought them at um $120 each, $130 each, $140. Then they dipped down to like $100. Then I bought some more. Anyways, long story short, here we are. This is how many I have. I think market price today for these are about $160 to $180. So, yeah. Why did I buy so many? Good investment piece. And I like the card. I wouldn't collect anything I don't like. Like, like, there are a lot of stuff that I think are cool, but aren't investable. Then there's some things that I think are investable, but I don't think are cool. And it's kind of like, it's that fine line. Everyone has their reasons for doing things. One thing I don't want to do is lose money on the stuff I buy. Unless I was ripping it, <laughs> like those tins back there and Evolving Skies and all that. I, I went into that knowing I was going to lose money. But recently, I'm more of a smart investor and collector. It, it's that fine line between I want to collect something, but I don't want to lose money at the same time. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Van Gogh's were one of those things. Because for some reason, I don't really care to own only one thing of everything. I like hoarding. I like hoarding, but not really. And I got one graded one. And I got pokey knots in here. Um, one of my relatives passed recently. I was in the middle of ripping these. And then they're very hard to get. Um, that's a whole separate story. But basically, I think I'm the only person in the world. Maybe not now. But I was the first person to get all of these. The pull rates are really hard. And each pack secondary market is about $40 a pack. I think I ripped about 300 400 packs to acquire these with trades and all that stuff so theoretically i i lost potential income equivalent to around sixteen thousand dollars to get these there, there's some things that like i remember that is the very first day i was selling these that we found out she she had a, a brain aneurysm. But um, yeah, it just so happens that the day that I had these and I pulled duplicates of some of them and I was trading for this one. It just so happens that this one arrived on the day that she passed. So yes, these are in honor of her. It was what I happened to be doing in the moment that I found out. I cut the stream, and then a couple weeks later, the last one arrived on the day that she passed. So that's why it's in the expensive case, okay? And then over here on the far left, I got this crimped, crimp promo. They didn't, they didn't give me a, like, error or anything. They just gave me a five, those goddamn PSA people. This is Bente. If you watch my stream, you know the story of that. Uh, if you watch my very first video that I posted recently about Pokemon, you know Gengar VMAX. I love the card. I love the stock. Hashtag stonks. I don't remember how many I had last time, but as an update, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 right now. Um, 
market price of this at the time of that last recording was about 450 right now it's at 520 to 550 i don't know if i had an impact of that or anything because the catalyst of fusion strike selling out on pokemon center and all that you can still get some of the packs over there so yeah i, I probably didn't i probably had some impact but i don't know 70 dollars in like two weeks pretty good pretty good anyways we'll get into the back stack over here japanese band gengar because there's a graveyard over there this is a e-card promo lottery this symbol down here japanese it means there was only five thousand ever printed so this card is from 2002 and there's only five thousand so very very rare because it's 22 years later how many of these survived nobody knows and also, that's a PSA 10. I'm trying to get the Blastoise and the Charizard also. This is a very special card. I like to collect rare things. I like to collect rare and hard-to-get things that I get at a good price. None of this stuff I paid full market price for. This card is rare because it's hollow on the back. There's only two cards in existence that have hollow backs, and there's a swirl down here. There's only two. One is Ancient Mew, and then this is number two. Trade, please. I like to keep stories, cards that have stories behind them, too. Like, normally I try to keep them all tens. There's a Gold Star Mew. It's a seven. I'm keeping it anyways because it has a story behind it. Uh, if you follow me on whatnot, you know. The TLDR is somebody sent me a commission sale. They thought it was too cheap. So they shill bidded themselves. Then they won. Then TLDR, I punished them equal to how much it would have cost for them to take it back, send it to me again, to sell it again at the fair market price. So I paid $317 for this one. And it comes with a free story to tell. Ban Misty, PSA 10, uh, Master Battle Collection. I don't really want this card, but it was a good deal. <laughs> uh, Festa Pikachu, this was my grail for a very long time. I remember I started watching this when it was $20,000. Now it fell, and I have two of them. It's around 7000 to 8000 right now. I paid less than 7000 for both of them. Remember, I only buy good deals. And then that leads into this. And the show is over. Next video, I will talk about what this is. This is a quarter million dollar card.